Hey guys, welcome to the Java installation session. Today we're going to be discussing how to install Java on your systems if you have a Windows 10 PC. Firstly, uh, open up your favorite web browser, search for JDK. When you search for JDK, you'll get all of these options. So go to Java SE downloads uh, in the Oracle website. So once you've opened that, you can simply click on JDK download. Uh, the latest one is uh, Java SE 14. So if you're looking for the particular version, if you're looking for 14, you can simply click on uh, JDK download. And if you're looking for a uh, previous version, you can simply scroll down and uh, it's up until JDK 7 that you can get. So uh, right now I'll tell you how to download JDK 14. So click on JDK download. Then you will get this license agreement page. So you scroll down simply. Then you have this uh, Windows X64 installer. So I'll simply get that. It's 162 MB. Click on that and click on I have reviewed and accept the Oracle technology license agreement and click on download. So uh, it will begin the download, but uh, it might give you an option to uh, create your own account at Oracle before you can actually begin with the download. So you can go ahead and create your own account on Oracle. That will happen without any issues because the creation of the account is free. So once you've actually created an account, you can do the same steps again and you will get your uh, downloaded Java 14 or whichever version you're trying to download. So once you've downloaded your JDK, you get it in your download location, whatever download location you have for your browser right over here like this. Right now the version is 14.0.1. So I'll simply double click on this and start with the installation process. Now, depending on if you have Java already installed on your system and you're simply trying to upgrade it, you might get different prompts, but the gist of it is just simply click on next and install whatever version you're getting. So right now it's installing and once it's been installed, simply click on close and now we can check where the Java uh, installation directory is. So it's usually in C drive and uh, depending on the bit system that you have right now, I'm using a 64 bit system, but if you have a 32 bit system, it will be in program files x86, like right over here. But if you have a 64 bit system like I have, it will be in program files. So once I've opened that, I'll simply go to the Java folder and now I have these four folders. So don't mind all of these four folders. If you've installed a particular version of Java, you'll get that version in your Java folder. So right now, the version that I installed right now was 14.0.1, which is different from all the previous versions that I have. So uh, this is the directory that we need. So simply, Copy this directory after you've clicked on the location bar. Click on copy. Now the work for that is done. I'll simply open up our environment variable. So simply type in environment in your start menu. Say if you type envir, you'll get the option that you need. So you can simply type on this, the edit the system uh, environment variables, click on it. Now for this, you also need to have ownership of the machine that you're using because you need administrative privileges to uh, actually give these paths. So once you open up the environments, uh, system environment variables option, you'll get this pop-up window and then you click on environment variables. So once you've clicked on that, see, I already have all of these variables configured, but uh, to show you guys from the start, simply click on new and type in Java home if you don't have already have a java home uh, variable assigned and simply paste the address that you copied from your uh, jdk folder so once i have pasted that in there now my java home variable redirects to the jdk 14.0.1 folder and it will use that uh, jdk it will use that java development kit as the runtime java environment so once we've done that, Java home has been set for the user variable. Now we can go to the system variables where we will find this uh, option we call as path. If you don't already have this, simply create a new and call it path, but I already have path. So I'll simply click on edit and add this new location. So I'll remove the uh, pre-existing Java path that I have. So there are no conflicts with that. So simply click on delete and uh, simply click on new and then paste the new directory 
that you have and type a backslash and type in bin because we need to specify the bin folder in the path, the system environment variable. And that's about it. We're done. And we will now check whether Java has been successfully installed and if it's the same version that we installed. Now let us open up CMD to check our Java version. So as you can see, uh, I have my C drive right now open. CMD, simply type in Java hyphen version. Now, you might be noticing that I'm getting a previous version of Java. So for most of you right now, the Java would have been installed. If you're installing Java for the first time, you would get your uh, Java version correct, like the version that you currently installed. Uh, but for some of you who have a Java version already installed uh, in their systems, uh, you might get uh, the previous version of Java showing up. So there is a simple fix for this. Simply open up uh, system environment variables again. Type in environment and get that option again. Open up environment variables. Go to the path variable once again. Edit it. And now you might be noticing that uh, my Java address is at the absolute bottom. So it's not getting the same uh, reference as uh, the above of variable values. So simply move this up to the absolute top so that uh, there are no variables that are preceding this. So now this version would be preferred over any other version that are bound in your address. So basically uh, move this up and press OK, OK, OK. Uh, exit your command prompt and restart it. So once you restarted it, type in Java hyphen version again and you'll get your new version. So this is for the people who are installing Java for the second or third time when they already have a Java version already configured. But uh, for most people, uh, configuring the environment variables uh, for the first time would do everything for them. So this has been Intel Path session about uh, Java installation. Thank you for attending.